Hello everyone, Aaron here and welcome back to Leet Code. Today, well we're not playing Sudoku, but we are checking if a Sudoku is valid. Determine if a 9x9 Sudoku board is valid. Only the filled cells need to be validated according to the following rules. Each row must contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition. Each column must contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition. And each of the nine 3x3 three three subboxes of the grid must contain the digits 1 to 9 without repetition. Note, Sudoku board partially filled could be valid, but still not necessarily solvable. Only the filled cells need to be validated according to the mentioned rules. Yeah, so these rules aren't actually enough to guarantee your Sudoku will actually work. Um, obviously, these are necessary, but um, Sudokus, for example, are often defined as having one unique solution. Um, whereas with these rules, there's nothing guaranteeing that you could have something that is symmetric and there could be two solutions. And I'm, my name isn't Simon. I'm not going to do Girth's symmetric theorem for you, um, <laughs> but, uh, there's lots of complexity involved in Sudoku. Um, other things are you need to, in a classic Sudoku, you need to have at least eight distinct digits given. Uh, because if you only give seven digits, the remaining two digits, you could swap one for the other and there would be no problem. Anyway, this isn't a Sudoku solving channel. Um, this is a coding channel. So if we've got this board here laid out like this, we need to check that in every row we have no duplicated digits. In every column we have no duplicated digits. And in every box we have no duplicated digits. And looking at this board, that is correct. Whereas if we were to do this board, uh, just quickly trying to scan it. Uh, there's two eights in this first column, for example. So that's no good. Um, yeah, so that, that's exactly what they're saying there. Right, so let's, let's do this, basically. Um, I think what I want to do first um, is do a function is valid sudoku sudoku set self digits and then what I want to do is uh, I was going to import something but let, let, let's not no no uh, oh God, what do I want to do what do I want to do um, yeah let's import something collections I'm going to import collections because what I'm going to do here is I'm basically going to count everything now there is a lovely collections dot counter um, that's probably cheating a little bit too much <laughs> using the Python standard library for something that basically does what I want to do but I am going to use a default dict set to integers um, so for digit in digits counts digit plus equals one for digit in zero uh, oops, zero is not a sudoku digit one two three four five six seven eight nine for each of those digits um if counts digit is greater than one return false return true so in the broken example, if I was to collect all of the digits in column one, we would have uh, two eights, one six, one four, and one seven. So here, obviously, these two eights would break this condition, so we would say this is a bad Sudoku set. So we now have to return false. If we pass all of those checks, then we return true. So now it's just a matter of collecting all of the right things. So the, let's start with the, the rows. For i in range 9, no, well, actually it's range len board, I guess, is valid sudoku set with board i. Uh, 
I'm basically going to set up a chain here. If ever I find a reason the Sudoku board is not valid, return false if I make it all the way and return true. So here we are grabbing the rows. The rows are easy. I can just take all of those and pass them through to my isValid Sudoku set. Then I want to do, keep it in the wrong place, for i in range len board again. Um, col the column is board i uh, j. In fact, no, it's it's j i for j in range len board. In fact, you know what? Size is well, it. it it's nine. I'm just going to use the constant nine. Who needs to be too good in a elite code problem, really? If not, self dot is valid sudoku set board uh, column. Sorry, return false. So those are the two easy ones. We have now checked all the rows and we've checked all the columns. Now we check all the boxes. For i in range nine box. Now this is where we have to get a bit clever. How can I index say zero to be those things? Well, I want to take zero one two um, and if I'm doing box one I want to do three four five six seven eight how do I want to how do I want to do this so that's going to be board i plus r for r in and it's also going to be 0 1 yeah it's going to be i plus r but r in range 3 so this is going to be if it's a 0 we're going to pick 0 Oh, I don't like that second one. Um, we're going to pick the zeroth row No, hang on. What do I want to do here? I, I'm trying to think what I want to do. So if I'm doing zero, I want to do row zero, zero, one, two. That's correct. Then I want to do Uh, no, this is C. This is the column. This is for R in range three as well. So I want to take from row, if I'm doing box zero, I want to take. So I think th what this will do. No, that's not right. Is it I mod three here? Because zero one needs to take from three, four, five. Three times I mod three. That that looks better. So let's go to box five, for example. Five mod three is two. Oh, 
oh, uh, sorry, zero, one, two, three. This is this, it's box five in traditional Sudoku, <laughs> but it's box four in our counting here today. So this is box four. Four mod three is one. So I want to take from three times one is three zero one two three four and five yes so this bit is now correct but the row i want to take from is well for box zero it's zero one and two ah so this is i integer division three plus r and i think this is going to be three times that as well because again if we're doing four Four integer division three is uh, one times three, which is three. Zero, one, two, three. Yes. Whew, this one's a bit nasty, isn't it? Okay, so what I might actually do is I want to print the box <laughs> and then if not, self dot is valid sudoku set box return false right let's just see how much i've butchered this oh my goodness it actually worked so the standard out oh so here's the boxes five five six blank three blank nine blank blank eight good Blank one, blank seven, nine, blank, blank, five, blank. Good, I'm, I'm reading these across and these in sort of column major order. And they all seem to be working, which is promising. I guess I have this C and R back to front to have it do row major, but it doesn't matter. We're, we're treating them as a set anyway. Um, right, I think that works with some very funky indexing. Let's use all the example test cases. Excellent, it still works. Let's click submit to see what happens. Fantastic, that worked perfectly. Um, neat little problem, again this is not how you actually uh, check whether a Sudoku is valid. If you do want to go check out how you solve Sudokus, go check out Cracking the Cryptic, they're absolutely amazing. Um, I, I didn't make a big mistake, so I didn't get a chance to say bobbins, but uh, maybe next time we're doing something based on Sudoku. Anyway, that's it from me. Uh, do remember to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>